I don't believe my speaker's working, but uh, I thought, well, I'll get over here and save a commotion. But appreciate you all being here tonight, and uh, I hope that we'll make it through this. You know, I I thought I'd just say I. Uh, you, you know, I, I, it took me a while to say yes on this. I, uh, I, I know that uh, sometimes it gets difficult in life, and uh, I, I mean, it's a little hard for me to say no, and I don't know why, but I'll have to say something before I begin about, about uh, saying no. I, I, I'm, I'm always, I'm pretty bad to speak my own peace, and I, I, and sometimes I, maybe it's wrong, and sometimes maybe it's all right, but I, I, my boss used to be, uh, I won't call his name, but uh, I, I'd go in the office, and, and, and when uh, he had given me an order or something, I'd, I'd look at it, or maybe I'd already looked at it, and, and I, 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 I would tell him that didn't need to be done. I, you know, I said, I don't believe that you've got a roof in your mouth. He said, what do you mean, Ray? I said, well, a man can't say no unless he's got his roof in his mouth, and you never say no. So that sometimes is a problem with, with a lot of us. It's just hard to say no. Uh, so I thought, well, uh, uh, Brad asked me about, about it, and I I hesitated, but I finally, after I think he walked off, and I came, and he came back, and I told him, "Well, I would try it, but and I'm going to say, and I guess most everybody knows it, but I, I won't be but 95 next month, and uh, it's just a little difficult sometimes to, to, uh, to stand up here, and but anyway, I'm thankful for." the help that I've had over the years and the years that I've had to be in the pulpit and holding funerals and things like that. I'm so thankful that God gave me the strength to do that. I'm thankful every day and I look just for one day at a time. And I know that I've been blessed so therefore, I thought that I would try one more time. And I want us to think about Jesus, our Lord. You know, we look at Jesus in several different ways. And the way we look at him, it sometimes determines our devotion to him or what we really think about him. We sometimes refer to him as our Redeemer, or we would refer to him as our Savior, or tonight I want to express just a little, sometimes we don't talk about him being our Lord. But you know, I, I think that uh, this, this is a subject that maybe uh, uh, ought to be used just a little, because I think we ought to look at him as a Lord, you know, when we think about a Savior, a Redeemer, we don't, we don't feel an obligation there because it doesn't cost us anything. All we, it's a gift to us, but when, when we think about Lord, that requires a little work on our part. And, and we like to look at the other because... Uh, sometimes we're a little afraid to, to work. I thought about preaching on work, but I, I, I couldn't decide what I want to do. But, uh, but, but anyway, we look at Jesus on, in, in, in many different ways in life. And uh, so I, I, I just wanted to, uh, to, to mention that. When we think of a Redeemer, he, uh, a Redeemer indicates that he has paid the price, uh, that he has bought our salvation with his sacrifice in life. And the same is true with our Savior. It's to a degree much in the same way. Uh, that that uh, uh, he, uh, uh, it, it is something that is a, is a gift to us and do that. But when, 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 when we think about a Lord, 
It, this requires work on our part, said there's something that we have to do. You know, in, in John 3 and verse, I'm going to use 16, which is a very uh, common verse, and I, I want to use it anyway because it goes with what I say. When God so loved the world that he gave his own begotten son that those whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to, 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 uh, 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 to cause problem but to, to save man, uh, that, man not, uh, that man might live. See, I can't, I can't keep up with my notes on him. I'm too fast. I get, uh, my tongue gets a little fast sometimes. But anyway, uh, uh, you know, uh, we 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 can look at we, we can look at that in in many different ways. But uh, uh, in, in Luke nineteen and ten, for the Son of Man has come to seek and to and to save that which is lost. But as we look at uh, uh, we, we look at Titus there in Titus two and verse eleven, when when the Apostle Paul says, "For by grace are you saved through faith; that not of you of yourself is the gift of God." Not of works, lest any man should boast. You know, that uh, God has given us, at, that's, that, that comes from God's grace, that we have salvation in life today, and we ought to be uh, appreciative of, of that very thing, and, and, and no one under, understand that. You know, when we look at our Lord, we can see in Acts 2 and verse 36, where, where uh, Peter said on the, on the day of Pentecost, uh, there, when on the first sermon was being preached, he said, he, he said on, on that occasion, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God had made that same Lord, uh, uh, that, that uh, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God had made that same Jesus whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. He is our Lord, but he's still the Christ to us. He is the Redeemer of, of man. Time, you know, in in, in 2 Corinthians five and verse seventeen. But be, uh, but thanks be to God, that gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. We can, that's the only way we can find our salvation. We were not in we were not involved much in 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 the uh, in the coming of the the others that we mentioned there as uh, the uh, Redeemer or the uh, Savior, but when it comes to that, we have a great obligation. We're involved in that because of his love for us. He gave us our salvation. He, and uh, uh, we read in, in Ephesians 2 and 8, For by grace are you saved through faith, that not of yourself. It's the gift of God. That's something that God gives to us. And, and, and we, we need to appreciate that to the fullest. He became our Lord when we obeyed the truth and gave our life to him. That's when he, he, he became our Lord. He, and, and then, in, uh, as we read in Romans 6 and verse 17, But God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but you have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine, being delivered from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. We have changed sides, so to speak. We're no more in the world, but we're servants of Jesus Christ, our, our Lord. You know, our Lord calls upon us uh, then to labor in his kingdom. That's the price that we pay. And sometimes we think the grace of God is that which takes care of all things, but uh, God expects us uh, expects something out of uh, out of us. He He called on us to to uh, submit to His will and uh, to to love and 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 hold fast uh, to our faith. Our faith is that which determines where I, we're going. You know. We have to follow that Lord. Jesus said there, Why call ye me Lord, Lord, and not do the things which, which I say? You know, we're just a little uncomfortable with the thought sometime of that Savior and, and Redeemer, more so than, than, than the Lord. But, you know, uh, as we, as, uh, there's a, uh, 
a statement that uh, uh, of, of surrenderance when we subject ourselves to God. Uh, it, in Paul's letter to the Romans, you know, he says uh, uh, 13 times, our, our Lord, just in, 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 the, in the book of Romans, but he also says the Lord 17 times. So 50 times uh, in, in, in this, uh, 40 times rather in this, we have in this short uh, book that we have Paul referring to Jesus as our Lord. You know, and sometimes it's not easy to admit that we're in subjection to somebody. But you know, that's because we fail to believe. We're, we're just a little on the uh, uh, slow side, so to speak. We're, we're not willing to, to be. You know, we could turn to John, the 20th chapter, and we could read there in about the 18th verse where Mary came to the disciples and said, I have seen the Lord. You know, that, that uh, no doubt was a shock to the apostles when uh, she made that known to, him, to them. And then after she had left all in that evening, as the scripture says there, that uh, uh, which was uh, in the evening on the first day of the week, the Lord, uh, while the disciples were together and the door was closed, the Lord came in and he said, Peace be unto you. And he showed them the nail scars in his hand and uh, his side, which was, uh, had, had been pierced and he made that known to them. And then we turn over a little further and we find in John, the, I believe the 28th verse of that chapter, where uh, uh, they, they, uh, the disciple, that John was not, I mean, that, uh, 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 never my mind don't work good, the, uh, the one that, did, uh, that uh, uh, was a slow believer, uh, uh, Thomas, I believe it was, that anyway that he, 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 he say, was not with them. And uh, uh, the, the, then the disciples, other disciples told them, told Thomas that we have seen the Lord. And he said, I will not believe it unless I take my hand and thrust it into the nail prints on his hand or to take my hand and thrust it in the side, I will not believe. And the next verse says that, and then Jesus appeared to them again on, eight, on the eighth day, which would have been again the first day of the week. And he also said to them, when he took to Thomas, he said, Thomas, reach forth thy hand and touch my, the nail scar in my hand, and thrust your hand into my side and, 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 and believe. Thomas reached forth his hand and touched and said, Lord, I believe. Or, and he called him Lord on, just on, on that occasion right there. He said, my Lord and my God. You know, uh, sometimes we're a little slow about things, but... That was uh, that what, what he did on, on that on that occasion. So uh, sometimes we we uh, we're a little slow to think. We're a little unbelievers. But you know the Lord said then to to, uh, he, to uh, the, the man he said, "Blessed art thou because thou have seen and believed." He said, "Blessed are also are those that believe and and don't see." You know. It's uh, just think of the uh, price that Jesus paid to become our Lord. You know, when we it take it take a while to look at the things that Jesus did. But you know, in uh, Philippians two said, "Let this mind be in you, 
which was in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal as God, but made of himself no reputation, took upon himself the form of a servant, and was made in likeness of a man. Being found in fashion a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, of things in heaven and things in the earth and things under, under, under the earth, that Jesus Christ is Lord under the glory of God. Jesus made that, own, made, made that statement there uh, uh, in, in, uh, in uh, uh, Paul, rather, in writing to the, uh, uh, the Philippian brethren there. Paul pictures to us a man that's willing. Can you think? You know, wh when we look at the statement that's made here by uh, 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 Paul here, uh, when he, he simply just say, says there, uh, let the, uh, the, the house of Israel know assuredly, and so forth. Uh, you know, uh, but that was uh, 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 not... Uh, Jesus Christ didn't, I mean, when he came to the, to the earth, he, uh, Paul is picturing us something about Jesus did. And the emphasis ought to be placed upon Christ, but we generally take all of this and, and we place it on, on our own here. The Lord was the one that paid the price and, and the one that suffered when uh, when he says, let this mind be in you, he's talking about, uh, about the Lord, not, uh, not uh, something that we're to do, but think about what the Lord did. The Lord was sitting on the throne, so to speak, with God. He gave up that throne and he came to the earth as a simple servant to mankind. And he gave up all of that that he might, uh, that, that he might become our Lord. When, when he said that, let this mind be in you, it then involved the Apostle Paul and what the, he did. But it also involves us as well because we have, Christ has given us an obligation that we are to uh, walk with him in life. You know, we're to live for others. You know, Jesus came, and he said that he came not as a, as a, 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 a he came as a servant, not, not, uh, uh, sometimes we ex uh, think that, that he, uh, uh, the apostles did on, on, that, on many occasions. They thought that he came to be served, but he didn't come to be served. You know, I believe the last time I spoke, I said, spoke on the, what, the, uh, the him washing the disciples' feet. That tells us who Christ was. And uh, our, our wishes are the Lord's wishes. Our thoughts are the Lord's thoughts. And we need to uh, think about that. You know, uh, uh, he was in the form of God, but he laid that form aside. And he took upon himself the form of a servant. And served in and while he was uh, uh, here upon this earth, you know, uh, that takes a great deal of courage to do that. When we think what Christ endured, uh, you know, uh, when when his life was threatened every way he turned, and yet he continued. And he would move this way or that way, and he escaped all of that until the time uh, was fulfilled that he was to go back to the Father and to be with him. You know, uh, uh, he, he was the Word of God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God. The same was with God in the beginning. He was, in, he was with God, and he had everything at his disposal, so to speak, but he bore our infirmities. He was willing to take our place and to give his life for us. He, uh, he, was, in, he was found in fashion as a man. He didn't, he didn't suffer as God on this earth. Uh, it's hard for us to think about 
the Lord living on earth. But he gave up all of that godship, so to speak, lordship, and he lived as a man. He suffered the same things. Can you imagine when he was about to be crucified, how that must have weighed heavily upon his heart, but yet he endured because he had a, a job, a work to do. And he has left us with a work to do as well. And we are to follow after him. Uh, he, 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 was, he was equal with God, and yet he gave all of that up. You know, uh, in John the 10th chapter, the Lord said, I lay down my life. No man taketh it from me, I have the power to lay it down or to take it up. And that was the mindset of Christ while he was here. He could have done anything he wanted to. But you know what he done? He said, Father, glorify me with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. And he got that he he got that request granted, and he uh, ascended up in into the heavens, and uh, 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 he he was exalted, and God gave him a name. Because of that, he gave him a name, and that name was to be Christ. Uh, and in verse nine of uh, Philemon's there, uh, the Philippians rather that we. Uh, wherefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. At the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and every tongue should confess. No wonder when Christ's sermon was preached on the day of Pentecost. No wonder so many rendered obedience to him there. You know, uh, Peter said on, on, on that that last day, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God has made that same Jesus Lord. And he said, many of them that heard it uh, turned and repented and said, men and brethren, what shall we do? And Peter said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Christ for the remission of sin, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is to you and to your children, and uh, as many as the Lord your God should call. And we, you know, that's, that's something great. When we really understand where Christ, or what Christ endured, and to understand he, he endured that for me, I'm so thankful that I can say, as Thomas did, the Lord my God. That's a wonderful thought. If you're here tonight and you're not a child of God, why not step out upon your faith in Jesus Christ as Lord? Repent of your sins, confess his name, and be buried with him in baptism, and to walk again in newness of life. If you're here and subject to the invitation, whether an erring child of God or an alien Christian, today is the day for your salvation. Won't you come while together we stand and sing?